It's just a great day. Like, yeah. It's really awesome. <laughs> the decorative shovels were out. Yes, there we go. Awesome. And the spirits were high. <laughs> it was a huge win for Southwest Washington. At a groundbreaking ceremony in Longview, Washington on Thursday, for a new facility that will help cut down on food waste. This facility uh, will have a capacity to process 100,000 tons of wasted food per year. Chris Thomas, vice president of public affairs with Divert, the company behind the facility, said it won't be the kind of place that takes in food scraps that you might toss in your green bin. The Longview facility will be able to process 100,000 tons of food per year, so their customers operate on a bigger scale, places like grocery stores, hotels, and agricultural facilities. That's where you're going to see a more of a higher volume of, of, of wasted food at a, at a tremendous scale, where it may not be suitable, it may not be best op, opti, optimal uh, for composting. In a landfill, food waste produces methane, a potent greenhouse gas that contributes to climate change. At the Divert facility, that gas will be harnessed and turned into renewable energy. We take that wasted food, we take it through a, a series of equipment that we have on site, it depackages the material, it removes all the, you know, the plastics and contaminants. The food is then turned into a liquid slurry before it goes into a tank for a process called anaerobic digestion. Uh, what that does is it takes that material and over the course of a couple weeks it creates a biogas. Uh, we purify that biogas and clean out the contaminants and, and once we do that it's got the exact same specifications as the utility scale natural gas. Thomas said there are lots of companies out there focusing on keeping food out of landfills, but... That should be the last step in the process. We should be focusing first on prevention. To do that, the company collects lots of data on what kind of food is coming into their facilities and uses that to let their customers know how they keep that food from being wasted in the first place. So we're using that insight to help inform them on what they could have, could have, should have, would have done better, what they will do better next time. The facility, the first of its kind in Washington, will also help its customers comply with a new law in the state, which requires organic material be diverted from landfills. Another win if we Washington can Representative Beth Tholio helped pass that law and was on hand for the groundbreaking. Food waste! I'm so passionate about food waste! <laughs> and we're finally here. But Thomas said that even in states that don't have these kinds of laws, their customers are still seeing benefits. And they say, well, you know, this wasn't that hard to choose this service. In some cases, it's cheaper than sending it out to a landfill anyway. And we're also making better decisions that make us run our business better. Now, there's still quite a ways to go before the Longview facility is up and running. But construction is underway, and they should begin taking food waste from all over Oregon and Washington by the end of next year.